According to George, those are love stones. You guys didn't know he was like a penguin, did you? Hey guys, good afternoon. That's right, it's afternoon. Went to my kid's football game this morning, and while I was doing that, Highwag was down, they fixed my combine. I actually found a few other belts that were bad in it, and a couple other little things that were broken on it, which we didn't even know were broke. So, should have a brand new combine now, right? Now, Dad just got going about 20 minutes ago, the Highwag service tech. He just left about 10 minutes ago, so get over there in the field and join him, and see what we can get done today. Alright, let's get this head hooked up. Now I am going to have to calibrate it. That's what we were doing yesterday when we realized that we had some issues. So I will need my dad and brother to come over and do that. Fortunately, that's a three person job with this thing. That's the way the MacDon works. Um, kind of stinks about it. I don't really like that part. Okay, here we are. We're going to try some soybeans here. See what they're like. Just got to get started, so find out. Everything's set, maybe. These are the first beans planted uh, on April 6th. So we've been ready for a good while, I think. There's a lot of leaves going down here. It's not bad, but get them on the hill. It seems like a lot of leaves. But, uh, I don't know how dry. I'll make them 13.6, but I think the moisture test or uh, sampler or uh, calibrate, so I don't know if that's good or bad or a little bit wetter than I want. And then I uh, she had pretty close moisture. Looks like these beans, I don't know, I get a calibrate the yield monitor. So not yet. That's why I'll get everything set in round. Round do everything again. These first beans are cut. combining we are actually in the boss man's combine there's his camera there is one part on the head of that mac don that sticks all the time that prevents the calibration from going right that used to be dad's mac don head uh he's taking that apart he said he knows how to fix it so it's only taking about 20 minutes so he told me to hop in his he's gonna fix that and then uh then i reckon we'll switch or maybe i'll just keep this one the chair's more comfy but we are cruising right along four miles an hour these beans were planted April 6th. This was kind of an experiment for us. We've never planted beans this early. This year probably wasn't the best year to tell. Uh, I mean, they're yielding mid 50s to 60, but the last couple years we've been making 70 bushel beans in this kind of ground. Just uh, the drought kind of got us, the dry weather, the heat. So I don't know, this probably wasn't the greatest year for a comparison, but that's what they're running. A lot of green in the leaves, but they're 12% and they're cutting really easy. My dad's combine, his has what's called cruise pilot. This is not automation, but basically he can set a speed that he wants to run. And as long as the combine doesn't go above a certain engine load, I believe it will run that speed. We're running four miles an hour. For the first field, I'm pretty, pretty happy with. Sometimes the first field will be really tough. It will be running two miles an hour, but like I said, these are cutting pretty well. Can we make it? I think so. We got it. The trick is no sudden movements. Got it. You know guys, I figured out the purpose of cab corn. It's so you can sell corn at soybean price. See, see, there it goes, right into the beans. It's like the neighbors are running. Yep, we picked the right day to start beans. It's official, the neighbors are gone. Now, this time of year, especially when the sun goes down, you'll be able to see dust for miles through here. You can always spot the combines just by looking up when they're doing beans. Those are some good beans. 
unfortunately it's at the bottom of the hill so those beans up there are probably terrible but they're uh, pretty good beans taking a little bit more power too got a hitchhiker can't have that that would have been disruptive to my day according to George those are love stones you guys didn't know he was like a penguin did you I get this thing fired back up and we'll get back at it always look out for rocks when you pick your head up it's a little greener up here I have to slow her down a bit she's grunting yeah, all right we're officially a two combine band again somebody's got to dump a truck here soon we gave Larry the day off since uh, I was going to my kids ball game we didn't know how soon that combine would be back up in business no sense in him coming today but we are going to run out of trucks here soon so I'd say when we eat dinner my wife is going to bring dinner this evening I'd say we'll dump a truck then and then eventually BJ will have to be dumping trucks or we'll quit I don't know uh, it is about 6, 6.30 actually. So it's hard to tell how tough these soybeans are going to get when the sun goes down. What I mean by that is soybeans take up moisture very easily. The stems get very hard to cut. So if they get too tough, they'll eventually start wrapping on the reel, not feeding in, and we'll have to stop. Hopefully we get a clear night and that doesn't happen and we can, we can keep on keeping on. We have 200 acres right here that are going to go to wheat. We're going to use that sunflower cedar plant that wheat in these fields so I really want to get those cut this weekend Monday they're supposed to show me how to use that thing we don't have it for a long time it's going to make a lot of demo rounds so we'll get some acres covered with it but that starts here first well that doesn't look like a good sign dad was in my combine and he stopped already I seen him get out raise the panel and head to the truck this is not going as planned now that combine has had a PM inspection done on it this winter. We ran about 30 hours on it in wheat harvest. It ran fine outside of the air conditioner going out. Had the air conditioner fixed, thought it was good to go, and uh, ooh, I think we've ran four acres with it so far. Not the greatest start. Now both of our 740s, that one is a 2014, the one I'm in is a 2015. I believe Dad got this machine in 14. Though. It seems like this is this combine's sixth season. This one has 1,718 engine hours. I believe the other one is right at that same mark. They're pretty close hour-wise. But uh, I don't know. It seems like we're really starting to have some issues with them. Uh, Kayla just pulled in, so... We're gonna stop and eat. Dad and I are gonna switch combine. I think that one's running okay now. Um, he was having trouble getting the header to tilt. Uh, I think he said he got that going. Uh, we'll be right back. You guys bring dinner? Yeah, we also need help cakes, Dad. Dax, what happened to your uh, shoe? I'm the other one. Yeah, me, you're goofy. Right here, I'm I was talking about Thanks for dinner. All right, back to my combine, I guess. I like the seat in that one a lot better, though. All right, so this is what we call the MacDon switch. That's what allows me to tilt the header forward and back. That switch still isn't working for some reason. So I cannot tilt my, uh, my head forward, and I, I would like to. Uh, then I'd be able to get just a little bit closer cut and bring in more of the beans. I do want to thank Evan Watson from Precision Ag Service for getting us going on our display cast. This is the first time we've had both combines in the field. I couldn't figure out why this combine wasn't talking to the other combine. But it turns out Evan was able to remote into my in command and uh, we just had display cast turned off. So got that up and going. We are sharing yield data and we are sharing AB lines. So that's pretty sporty. There we are. That's me, that's dad. How you doing? My wife likes friends. Okay, we're uh, just did a check here where we had some fungicide. This field got fungicide. I had one sprayer with 120 feet, didn't have any. And for some reason, five or four. Four, where there was no fungicide. Yep, brother's plenty close, but he's using the cart A system, so he's on a straight line. Our distance should stay the same, but that is plenty close. Some 
You see it, but uh, well, the fuzzy side, there's just a lot more leaves on it. And we got some of that little pig weed or hog weed or some kind in there. It's all over. It's just, uh, it's getting bad. Just had a wad of dirt come into the feeder house, so I'm gonna get out and scrape that out of there. I don't know if there's a rock in it or anything, and I don't want to take a chance. The way our luck's going, we grenade the whole combine. So here's a Brown Farm special. Piece of rolled steel bent on both ends. Kind of hook this stuff, pull it out. Works pretty good. Just keep them on our stairs of the combines. Woo -wee, look how green those stems are. Luckily, they're not tough yet. That's what we drug up on. We'll also check to see if we got a broke section, but I don't think we do. I think that head still isn't calibrated right, and we're just not floating like we're supposed to. Yep, yeah, apparently we're about done with the field. Dad's about to meet me. Alright. Turn the separator back on. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Turn on the, the head. And there she goes. And we're back to green flag racing. One other thing that's kind of odd, outside of not being able to tilt my head, I also can't get my reel speed to adjust. It's a little bit faster than I would like it to be right now. Looky there, there's the display cast. There's the combines. We just don't want the tips to touch. <laughs> yep, I laugh at my own jokes sometimes. Gotta steer out of each other's way. Now we do have a little bit of an offset. That's an error on our part. I have my combine set to 39 feet, five inches because I'm on Waz and there's, you know, that's accurate within six inches. Dad has his set to 39 feet even. So we need to change those and then those, those two, this shouldn't be there then. So I had to nudge over to account for that and that's why we've got just a, a, a row of shame basically. But, man, these beans are substantially better right here. The rest of the field was running 55 to 60. Hey dad, I'm also making these 70, 75 right through here. Yep, pass a shame. All right, dad took his head off. I'm going to leave mine on and back to combine in, leaving the head out because planning on coming back over here and running some more tomorrow before the rain. Gotta love the direction from that. Well, this is gonna be a cold ride home. It was 60 when I came over here on the rock sore. <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching that's gonna be it for this one as always don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel check the links in the description for some merch and yeah we'll see you in the next one we're gonna see mom in the nursing home tomorrow um, tomorrow morning and then once we get back from that we're gonna, we're gonna hit the beans pretty hard that's the plan but you know how plans go they change early and often